When the Sabbath was over, Mary of Magdala, Mary the mother of James, and Salome gathered some spices so that they might go and anoint the body of Jesus. Very early, the first day of the week, they set out for the tomb, the light of dawn just barely beginning to color the eastern sky. On the way, they began problem-solving. Who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? But approaching, they saw that the stone had already been rolled back. It was a very large one. And entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right in a white robe. They were alarmed. But he said to them, Do not be fearful. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has risen. He's not here. Look, this is the place where they had laid him. Now go and announce this news to his disciples, including Peter. Jesus is going ahead of you, returning to Galilee. There you will see him, as he already has told you. They emerged from the tomb, confused and shaken, and in fear they fled the tomb. They didn't say a word to anyone because of their fear. Christ is risen. The world below lies desolate. Christ is risen. The spirits of evil have fallen. Christ is risen. The angels of God are rejoicing. Christ is risen. The tombs of the dead are empty. Christ is risen indeed from the dead, the first of the sleepers. Glory and power are his forever and ever. Let's join together in singing Christ is Alive. It's number 318 in our hymnals. If you have a copy at home, that's great. If not, you can download a copy of today's bulletin, and the lyrics are included there. Um, we do have license for reproducing the lyrics that way, but we don't have the authority to stream them in video. So you can get around it that way. Download the bulletin.
Friends, the good news of the risen Christ is that the death-tending realities of our world have been overcome. Because Christ is risen, we are no longer enslaved to hatred, greed, anxiety, fear. Indeed, we're freed to live in Christ and for one another. Let's confess our sin in order that we might live in and through the risen Christ. O God, in raising Christ from the dead, you have set us free from self-absorption, doubt, and fear. Yet we continue to live as those who are enslaved, to enmity toward others and ourselves. We've been called to love you with all of who we are, and to love neighbor as self, but we are turned in upon ourselves and refuse to love. Empower us with the new life of the risen Christ, so that we might be free to love you, others, and ourselves as we ought. Amen. A short time of silent prayer. Our baptism assures us that in the risen Christ, enmities based in race, gender, class have been washed away. As Paul tells us, for those who are clothed in Christ, there is no longer Jew or Greek, no, no longer slave or free, no longer male or female. Old divisions have been crucified in Christ, so that we who are raised with Christ might live in mutuality and peace. We offer our prayers through the risen Christ, and in the strength of the Spirit giving life even to us. In the risen Christ we pray for the Church. May we be Easter people, living in the power of the Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead. May we be salt and light for our world, encouraging the downtrodden, standing with the marginal, resisting oppression in all of its forms. In the risen Christ, we pray for the earth. Let us be healers of your good creation, utilizing sustaining practices that mend the earth and its creatures. In the risen Christ, we pray for all the nations. Let us be agents of your love for the peoples of the earth, especially for nations torn by war and blood and crippled by the coronavirus. In the risen Christ, we pray for our communities. May we extend care and compassion to those who are grieving and fearful because of mass shootings. May we be especially attentive to those who are fearful because of the racialized violence in our communities. Help us to know that when some are crucified, all are crucified. And empower us for justice seeking in our schools, neighborhoods, cities, and regions. In the risen Christ, we pray for loved ones. May we be agents of hope for those who are fragile in our families, churches, and community, and help us to comfort the afflicted. We pray all these things in the name of Jesus Christ, who gave us these words to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Christ is risen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Christ is risen indeed. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I invite you to join together in singing Come Let Us With Our Lord Arise. The lyrics will be on the screen on this one. And afterwards there will be an interlude, Rick at the piano playing Crown Him With Many Crowns. And we will regather at 9 o'clock.